babes, this is Mrs. Pies. So this week we are talking about something called reptiles and amphibians. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about some reptiles that I actually have super cool pictures of and really interesting things to talk to you about. So I am going to start with, who is that where? Hold on guys. This lizard. I'm gonna read about this lizard and you just look at how cool this is, ready? There are many kinds of lizards. The smallest ones are less than one inch long. The Komodo dragon can be over 10 feet long. Some lizards look like snakes. They have no arms and no legs. Unlike snakes, these lizards have ear openings and eyelids. Lizards smell with their tongues. They stick out their tongues as if they are tasting the air. They can tell if food or other animals are near. Way cool. All right. This is a snapping turtle. I'm gonna try really hard to get rid of this glare. This might not happen. Let me see, guys. Be real patient with me. All right. Ready for this? Snapping turtles. Snapping turtles cannot hide inside their shells. Oh, their shells are too small. They scare away predators, things that want to eat them, with the snap of their strong jaws. Their jaws are right in here, part of their mouth. Snapping turtles live in lakes, ponds, and rivers. They like to lie in the mud under the water. They can they come on land to warm themselves in the sun. Baby snapping turtles can fit in your hand. Oh, cute. But they don't stay little for very long. They can grow up to 100 pounds. Snapping turtles are born with a rough, bumpy shell. As the turtles get older, the bumps get worn down. The shell starts to feel more smooth. Cool. Okay, here's another one. Ready for this? Da -da -da -da. Crocodile. See this crocodile? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm going to read about this guy. Ready? Crocodile moms take good care of their young. The moms watch over the eggs and protect the babies after they hatch. You can't see crocodiles' ears, but they have great hearing. Their ears are slits. When they swim, the slits close up so water don't cannot get inside of them. Well, that's interesting. A crocodile's eyes are on the top of its head. See his see his eye his eye right there? Okay, so as it swims, it keeps its eyes above the water to watch for food. Crocodiles are meat eaters. They have strong jaws and many teeth to help them catch their food. Crocodiles. Okay, I have two more. Ooh, this is my least favorite. I am not a fan of these at all. Rattlesnakes. Ugh. Rattlesnakes have a poisonous bite. They use their poison to catch food and stay warm, from, stay safe from other animals. When a rattlesnake sheds its skin, part of the old skin stays stuck on its tail. This piece of skin becomes a new section of the snake's rattle. See the rattles right there? So this guy has shed his skin one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven times. Ugh. Rattlesnakes have a long backbone. They do not have arms or legs because they have no bones. Rattlesnakes shake their rattles as a warning. The sound tells other animals and people to stay away. Okay, one last one. This is a cool one too. This is called 
an iguana. See that? Oh, there we go. An iguana. Iguanas have long, sharp tails. Oh, that's interesting. They can use their tails to whip to scare off predators. Predators, again, are things that want to eat it. If an iguana's tail falls off, it will grow a new one. Most iguanas are green. During part of the year, boy iguanas may turn orange. Some iguanas change color to match their surroundings. Many iguanas live high in the trees of the rainforest. Others live in the desert. Some even live on islands and swim in the ocean. Iguanas have many sharp teeth. They are herbivores. They spend their days eating leaves and other plants. That's what a herbivore eats. Very cool. Did you like that? Wasn't that cool? All right. I've got a game coming up, so look for the reptile game. It's going to be really cool and super fun. See you soon.